I wanted less is more, you know, I wanted in my old guitars that I'd put EMGs and I'd bypass the tone knob, you know, um, a couple of the guitars I didn't even have a front pickup in cause we're not doing any soloing. And normally when I solo, I flip up to the neck pickup for whatever reason, uh, just have it, um, clean stuff. I'm always up on the neck pickup. Not that there's a lot of clean stuff in Slipknot and I'm a very indecisive person. Um, I tend to overthink things a lot. So I wanted to keep it as simple as I possibly could without overthinking it. And I wanted to keep it to where whether you're a metal guitar player, a jazz guitar player, a prog guitar player, or a straight up rock player, maybe even a blues player, it could be a guitar that you'd pick up and there wouldn't be a bunch of, you know, like blood and satanic images and tribal S's and things like that all over it, you know. Um, classics, I like classics, you know. Ray-Ban sunglasses, old Mopars, Fender Strats, Gibsons, you know, I mean, it's, <clears throat> they're classics and they never go out of style. I like the juxtaposition of, you know, here's this really brutal metal music that's very percussive and very, you know, has elements of, you know, Norwegian death metal and oi punk and, and whatever else, you know, like maybe even some rap and, and things like that. And then here's this guy playing a telly, it just doesn't make any sense and I love that you know so and then the jazz master you know I was reluctant to play a jazz master Alex Perez at Fender sent me one he's like just try it out man see how you like it and I just let it sit in the corner and I never touched it and then um when I was in Stone Sour we were doing pre-production for the audio secrecy record and uh I'm like you know what I'm gonna play this guitar during these rehearsals just you know for something different um and I remember putting it on with a strap and being like immediately, just immediately amazed by the guitar, just the way it felt hanging on the strap. I was like, Jesus, man, this thing is so comfortable, like just just hanging here, just the way it feels. And and then I remember playing it during the rehearsal, and I was like, this is, I love this guitar. Like it just took, like that switch just turned on right then and there. And, and ever since then, I've kind of been favoring the Jazz Masters over my tellies and my strats. I like them a lot. <laughs> I went with the zebra on all the ones that I have just because all my guitars are black or white and they just look really classic. It's going back to that classic thing. They just look really classic and, and they look like they make sense in there. There's just such a wall of sound. You know, I needed something um, other than stock pickups that Charvels or Jacksons would come with to cut through. And EMG has really kind of did that. And I've been using them ever since, you know, what, 20 years I've been using the 81 kind of 60 combo. I was doing an 81, 85 combo at first, but I like the bubbliness and the jazziness of that 60 in the neck. Um, tip of the hat to Hatfield for that one, you know, there's just something really cool about that tone. You know, get those kind of more bluesy tones and things like that.